Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camping, Tactical Nut here. And today we're here to talk about the Falco holster from Craft Holsters, so stay tuned. Okay guys, hopefully you saw the unboxing video yesterday. Now, I want to go ahead and explain why I just released the unboxing video yesterday instead of right when I first got it. Well, kind of just really wanted to be able to post a video right before I was going to do the review so that it stayed on your mind, right? And so you had a chance to look forward to it and not forget about it, right? Um, so, what you're going to see is I've worn this now since April 4th, right? Um, you have a couple of different snaps to go over your belt loops here. They work very well no issues with them whatsoever stitching so far has held up now let's just go ahead and get this out in the open uh we're locked down and not really going anywhere right so how are you going to be testing this out in order to see what you think about it well you make do i wear it all day every day around the house uh, of course if we go anywhere you know we have to go to the grocery store or uh, home improvement store like Lowe's or something like that. Um, you know, I still wear it wherever I go just like I normally would, but uh, I just literally wear it all day around the house. So one of the things I have to say right off the gate, or right out the gate, is that it's very comfortable. Um, this is the first inside the waistband leather holster I've ever had, and I gotta say I'm very impressed. Uh, really comfortable to wear, definitely far better than Kydex as far as comfortability goes. Um, and like I said, I've just been impressed with how well that has worked. Um, as you can see here, everything is holding up just fine. And I mean, cause literally when I say I'm wearing it all day, every day, I'm literally after I, not long after I get up, I'm putting this on and I literally, right before I go to bed, I'll take it off. So sitting on the couch, watching TV, all that kind of stuff, wearing it all day. So definitely love the way it looks. I mean, that I really have to say that right out the gate. The stitching, the craftsmanship, as I covered yesterday, all around the edges is just excellent. And all the stitching is holding up perfectly. And there goes my dog seeing somebody. Um, so, yeah. And so, just so you see how it fits now. Now, if you saw the unboxing video, you saw that it uh, came with some um, fitting oil or whatever it was called, right? So... I'll just go ahead and tell you, I didn't use it. I literally just sat while I was watching TV with it unloaded and stuff and just took it in and out and and out and and out, right? That way it just got loosened up just enough, you know, and then I would let it sit in there overnight as well. Um, so ever since then, perfect fit, because you saw how I was kind of struggling to get it out during the unboxing video. As you can tell right now, this is literally effortless, but the fact that it's inside your pants, it's gonna be held very securely, so you don't have to worry about it coming out at all. Um, so, uh, how does it look? Well, let's pause this real quick. Let me put it on and then I'll get right back to it. All right, so here we go. Check out the new Demolition Ranch shirt. Do love it. But as you can see, it does quite well for concealability. Sorry if the shadows are kind of throwing it off, but hands down, it's very comfortable. Here's how it rides. So I like the angle. I like how much it keeps it close to your body. So when you need to pull, ready to go right easy to get back in shirt around it and here we are now this is designed to be carried at the four o'clock just like this and I will just go ahead and say that um, when I put it on uh, I do take the gun out first it just makes it easier to get in because you are gonna have to put those little uh, leather loops as I'll show you, right, they're having to go around your belt, and so it's just easier to do with this not in here. So just uh, be advised that that makes that go a lot faster and easier. Um, but also, like I said, it was designed to be at the 4 o'clock, but I have discovered that appendix is not that bad, right? Now, depending on your body type, it may work better for you than me, because me being pretty thin, uh, 
pretty much every like any appendix holder they print a lot um, but if you had a larger chest and stuff like that it's not too bad uh, bringing it around to the side and move it a little more right I mean you can still notice but usually people aren't looking for stuff like this and like I said just depending on your build this may work better for you but I do like this is much faster more comfortable when riding in a car um, I went to a training class this past Thursday and I mean it was a two-hour drive there and yeah obviously a two-hour drive back and then I had to make a stop or at least close to it I think an hour and 40 something like that but I was riding it with an appendix style because this when you're riding in a car is much more comfortable and also much better access at that point right so you can still get to it still comfortable um, not perfect for I mean if you had a single stack that would be much more ideal obviously it's going to print a lot less but for me uh, wearing darker colored shirts really helps a lot uh, if you were wearing maybe a short sleeve button down or something like that in the summer or long sleeve button down that's probably going to help a lot more but I just like this a whole lot better right so comfortable for both appendix and four o'clock but I think it was really just designed for the four o'clock so may work for you may not but definitely comfortable um, now one of the things that I did do is I bought some uh, waterproofing stuff which I'm probably gonna put on today just to protect it from sweat and or water to get wet so that it'll last longer I would recommend that you do the same since it is inside the waistband or actually I mean if you're doing it even outside the waistband because like I say in the uh, unboxing video they have a whole bunch of different styles and for a whole bunch of different guns so more than likely if you go to their site which I'm gonna leave a link in the description below um, you'll find something that you like and it'll fit what you have um, now things to be aware of one your shipping time or the time you're gonna get it may vary right so since they have a bunch of different holsters and for a bunch of different firearms right they do keep some in stock that are like pre-made for what I'm assuming to be their most popular orders right for the most popular models of firearms so some you may be able to order and they ship it right away me since I have a CZ they had to make it and these are made in Europe um, I forget where this one was made just slipped my mind uh, I'll look it up and then annotate it <laughs> but so mine had to be made and, and then shipped and so it's coming from overseas so it's gonna take a little bit of time but the shipping is free so that's awesome right there um, their prices are amazing I think this is only like 65 bucks for a handmade leather holster of this quality I mean you see how thick that leather is right it's going to be durable I mean it's done a great job so far it looks good um, oh I even think I tried this outside the waistband just by I think it was going like this right, so oh, this I was just like... playing around with the other day I don't know if I necessarily would say I would recommend doing this or carrying it this way but when you look at it I put it on the outside and works really well obviously it's gonna be more comfortable because it's not inside your pants still pretty concealable let me back up a little bit depending on the length of your shirt right this is just kind of pick my hands up it's kind of obvious but I was just playing around and just thought eh, kind of neat um, it may strain the button snaps a little more than what you would want so like I said not really saying I'm gonna recommend doing that but I guess it can be done uh, and then also behind you at the four o'clock so just something to keep in mind and hold on a minute all right sorry about that my neighbor was coming by with his dog and my dogs love playing with his dog so they all wanted to say hello <laughs> all right so as I was saying this way you can carry it from the front it is more comfortable it does actually really well behind you at the four o'clock it's just a little slower to put on um, which the only downside to this type of holster is it is a little slower to get on just because you have to hook these around your belt loop and it's not just a clip that slips over it um, but literally I mean you're talking about maybe an extra 30 seconds so not bad on that it's definitely not a deal breaker for me because um, I don't think I've ever had a time in my life where I had to 
very quickly remove my holster. Maybe you have, I don't know. I haven't had that neat. So um, yeah, guys, you're gonna have to check them out. Craft holsters, really good quality here. A lot of options. Uh, just be aware of the shipping time because depending on what you're getting uh, may take a little longer, but you may get shipped right away. Um, so, because I, I do believe the company is based here in the United States, I think he's on the West Coast. Um, they just use makers that are in Europe. So, one big win there is not Chinese. <laughs> All right, guys. Hopefully, this will help you in your purchasing decisions of finding a new good quality leather holster. I think you're going to like these. I've really liked mine. I've carried it a bunch. It works well for me. So, I think it's going to work for you too. All right. In the meantime, be prepared, have fun, get yourself a new setup.